I've kind of not been very happy with where I'm at right now, thinking of too many things, having too many options and possibilities, so I've decided to go to India for 30 days to do another uh, yoga teacher training. I want to become a new person. I will start with cutting off my hair, but let's have some fun with it. Yeah, so all of that is what was here. Definitely didn't go as planned. I did not want to have it as short as this, but I guess um, sometimes you don't have a choice, so officially bald for the first and hopefully last time. It feels like a new beginning and I don't feel like um, I messed something up or made a wrong decision. A few days later I settled in and we started with a week of silence which was very impressive for me. Just settling into this Himalayan village with those spectacular views really got me. During the first week I really tried to soak everything in and especially being in the sacred yoga hall was a very very beautiful experience for me as I was able to experience yoga from a different perspective I hadn't really seen before. Good morning, it's 5 a.m. Uh, I've been at the yoga center for two weeks and today we're doing an excursion to the temple. So, let's go. I feel very blessed. And Swami the G is getting a photo shoot right now. <laughs> no added sugar in this cookie because I'm not eating sugar the whole month. Yeah, like you won't eat a Oh, there we Fellow friends I got also explored the nearby town called Rishikesh, the capital of yoga. And during the time I was there, there were also some festivities that were happening, which I was uh, lucky to witness. It was a very interesting experience to see all the dances and people. 
perform and realizing how much this means to their culture. Sunday of the last week almost uh, and yeah well, today we're doing something really interesting uh, we're gonna drink four to five liters of water in one and a half hours and, and shit it all out so I'm pretty nervous about this but I'm looking forward to it and I'll just tell you how the whole experience goes I guess the goal of this Krias is to clean the intestines and the digestive tract, which we do by drinking two cups of water, which after some time got very hard, and then performing different types of movements to get the water through the digestive tract as quick as possible. Yeah, it's always a hassle to get the water I drank 16 glasses of water by now, puked out like six. My poo is definitely becoming more unsolid. Wow. Fortunately, we were also invited to join a fire ceremony, which I had never done before, and therefore was a very interesting experience for me. G'day, it's the egg, day 30. Today's the last day of our yoga teacher training. I've done my practice exam where I gave the class myself. It's crazy to think about everything that has happened in the last month in a completely different way than you would talk about when you're traveling. Just so much introspection and yeah, looking inward and realizing so many things about life, me and my family, just yeah, so, so much love we did. A couple of kriyas practices, which are helping to clean the body uh, from yeah toxins, but also emotions, etc. Those kriya practices were really, really intense. And even with the people here that uh, I've spent this time with, it's so much love has been cultivated here. And yeah, I'm, I'm really sad to leave these guys. Tom, he's been my roommate. He'll he'll stay in my heart forever, dude. Oh, 
सुगंधिम पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाक्रमे वंदना मृत्योर्मुक्षेमृता 